Guys, HBO is looking for someone to color grade the next season of The Last of Us. And of course, I applied. I have to submit my color grade and prove to them that I am capable of doing this. So let's get into Premiere. Here we've got a clip of Bob. He's currently doing an internship. We want to match his shot with a reference clip from The Last of Us. Now to make things easier, we want to see both clips at the same time. To do that, go to the program monitor and click on the button editor. Then drag the comparison view button next to the others. If you enable that now, you can view the two of them. On the left, you can see the current one in the timeline. On the right, you will find the reference video, but it's black. That's because you need to find the reference clip in the timeline with this slider. Now with the buttons on the bottom, we can change the arrangement of the clips. Then with the arrows on the right, you can swap places. First thing is to match the exposure and contrast. And to do that, go to the window menu on top and choose Lumetri Color. We also need a tool to help us with matching these clips. Behold the Lumetri Scopes. You can again open them by going to the window menu and clicking on Lumetri Scopes. Once this is open, right click on it and make sure that the Luma waveform is enabled. Here we can read the luminance levels of the left and the right video. On the bottom, you can find the absolute blacks and on top are the whites. In between, we have the shadows, the midtones and the highlights. Now we're going to match the exposure and contrast of the videos by adjusting the light sliders. Now keep in mind the waveform scope is just a tool that can help us, but your focus should lay here. And The Last of Us has more contrast, so we're going to increase that on our clip as well. Now with the highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks controls, we can fine tune it even more. Try to match the two waveforms. Now, of course, you can see that the scopes don't look exactly the same, but that is normal because we're looking at two different videos. Hey, what are you doing, stupid clicker? You're infecting my shot. Get off the green slider. I'll deal with you later. All right, as you can see, the grass and the videos don't really match. To fix that, expand the curves tab, then expand the use saturation curves. Click on the color picker and click on the grass of your clip. This will make a color selection. Now you want to pull down the middle point and this will decrease the saturation of the greens. We're doing that because digital cameras are very sensitive to the color green, which makes the green flashy. Definitely with those cheap camcorders, so doing that trick will make your videos also look more cinematic. Now the greens are still a little bit too green and to fix that, go to the U versus U curve. This time select the yellows and the greens. Set a middle point and boost it up slightly. This will shift the U and make the grass more yellow and dry. Now in The Last of Us, the greens look a lot deeper as well. Well, but to get the same effect in your video, finally go to the U versus Luma curve. With the color picker, select the greens again and decrease it just a little bit to make those darker or deeper. Now for the next step, we're gonna need to steer the colors in the right direction. And there's a great tool for that under the color wheels and match. Here we can just click on apply match, which is going to match the colors from your reference clip. Now do keep in mind that this tool works like crap. <laughs> you know, that's why we already did a bunch of adjustments beforehand because you wanna get as close as possible first before you're going to apply this match. And there are a bunch more extra things that we need to do now. So let's let's get into those. You know, I must say that I'm really proud of you that you made it so far into the video. That means that you really love color grading. And that is why I created a complete color correction and color grading course with Lumetri, especially for you. Now in this course, you'll learn how to correct bad footage, learn about all the different scopes, various techniques and secret workflows, as well as learning the philosophy behind the color grades. Your videos will look so much more professional by having a cinematic look that emphasizes a certain feel. Tens of thousands of people have already taken the course and the reviews have been absolutely amazing. Most students did not know anything about color grading, but after the course, they felt confident and were able to edit beautiful videos. And because I love you guys so much, the first 50 people who use the coupon code first at checkout will get 50% off. So go check the first link in the description down below to get started right away. Oh no, it's that! The stupid clicker is back and is now messing up my entire color grade. If he keeps doing this, I will never get the job. Here's some antibacterial juice. Take this, you little prick. Skin tones are important because it tells something about the character. So let's match that. Go to the HSL tab and Lumetri. Click on the color picker and in the program monitor, select your skin tones. Then with the HSL sliders, adjust the selection until only the skin tones are selected. Now to match those skin tones, we're going to use another tool called the vector scope. So right click in the Lumetri scopes and choose vector scope. The vector scope measures the U and and saturation. This highlight will point towards the colors in your video. The more it spikes, the more saturated they are. But how are we going to match the skin tones with this? Well, pretty easy actually. Go to the effects controls and from the opacity, create a small mask on your face. Then do the same thing with Ellie. We're basically isolating the skin tones. Then in the vector scope, we can now see these two highlights. These are Bob's and Ellie's skin tones. Ellie's are a little bit more pale. That is because it reflects the character. They are not in a cozy, warm environment. Plus the character is 
suffering a lot. But to match them, go to the HSL tab and just scroll down to the color wheel. Bob's skin tones are a little more saturated than Ellie's are, and the colors are off. So use the color wheel and push more cyan to compensate for the yellows. You want to make sure that both highlights are laying on top of each other. Finally, increase the exposure slider to match the luma of the skin tones, and you want to peek at the luma waveforms for that. When done, you can delete the masks and look at that, the skin tones are perfect. And last but not least, I can see that the reds in my video pop a bit too much. And to fix that, we can match the reds with something red in Ellie's shot, such as her shirt. To do that, expand the Lumetri menu and click Add Lumetri Color Effects. This will create a second Lumetri effect because we're gonna need the HSL controls again. And you can only use them once inside a Lumetri effect. So expand the HSL tab and click the color picker. Then select the reds in your video and again tweak the HSL sliders to adjust the selection. And like before, you can use a mask to select the reds in both videos. Go back to the HSL controls and use the vector scope to match the reds, just like we did with the skin tones. No! This stupid clicker just ate my Lumetri effect and everything is gone! I need to submit my color grade today! Holy moly, what is that? That's our savior! It's Cine Match. <laughs> now, they're not sponsoring this video, guys. I just really wanted you to know about this because I tried the matching feature and it works really, really well. It's a simple plugin. You install it and you'll find it back within your effects library. Let me show it to you guys. To match the greens, just click the source picker, select the greens in your video, and with the target picker, select the greens in Ellie's video. And that's it. You can do the same thing for the skin tones and also for the reds, just like we did the Lumetri. But you don't have to create masks anymore or use those scopes. It is super fast and easy to get a great look with that plugin. It just goes so much faster and way more accurate. You know what? I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. I can highly recommend that you check it out. Now back to Lumetri. So you really love your new color grade and you want to save it. I understand. Well, first of all, kick the clicker in the butt and take your Lumetri effects back. Then in Lumetri, click on the hamburger menu on top and choose export as dot cube. Save it somewhere you want. Then the next time in Lumetri, just go to the creative tab and click on the menu right here. Then click on browse and find to let you save. Now you can see that it is here in the list. Now the problem is that this doesn't work with multiple Lumetri effects. So to solve that, we have to hold down control and select both the Lumetri effects and right click them and choose save preset. Give it a name, for example, The Last of Us and click OK. Now you can find it back within the effects library under presets. The next day. In the meantime, guys, I got the job. That that is amazing, but we're not done yet. You now understand how to make a great like The Last of Us, but if you want to learn how to get any kind of cinematic great, well then check out the video here on my left, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.